Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Playwright tutorial, I'm going to explain you about the locators within Playwright. What all locators are available. So let me quickly go ahead and search for locators. So you'll see that we have locators page here. Okay. And locator is something in any automation tool, right? So it doesn't matter you are using Selenium or any other proprietary tool or paid tool, open source tool. If it is a web automation, you are going to locate the web elements, right? So what locators do is they help you to say, for example, I have to drive this particular website manually, right? So I know that I have to go to this particular location. If I have to click on the playwright, I'll go uh, mouse over over this playwright and then go to that particular location. If I have to open docs, I'll mouse over and then click left click, right? So being a human being, I know that yes, in order to browse this particular website where I have to go and click or type something in order to communicate with that particular application. But how does our script know that it has to basically go to this particular location, click here, type something and drive as the user does on the web page, right? So that's where locators are useful or that's where locators are used in any of the web automation tool so that you can locate or your script can locate. Okay, I have to open community. So I have to go, go ahead and click here, right? So when you locate this particular element in your script, so a script knows I have to go to this particular community link and then I'll say click then the click will happen all right so this is what locator or basics of locator is now I have mentioned that we are using this particular website to practice but say for example this particular website is not available tomorrow okay or it becomes down then your knowledge that you are learning here you can apply it on any particular website that is available out there right so don't just rely on the absolute uh, same web portal web page that I'm taking up here, right? Because tomorrow something might change on this particular portal portal, right? So then you have to apply your knowledge of locators of the automation framework, everything, right? So just just to mention that, yes, you can go ahead and use this. But tomorrow, if it is changed or not available and script don't match or align, don't get panic. Okay, you will be easily be able to fix anything and the purpose is so that you learn the automation so you can do any application automation web UI automation right so now locators what if you see this particular page it is a central piece right it's not only for the playwright uh, but any tool right it's a central piece if your script are not able to locate the elements how will they interact how will they click how will they type on the particular web page how you want your script to do okay now there are recommended built-in locators within playwright that we'll be discussing so get by role okay get by text now if you're coming from selenium background you, this will be really really simple for you okay because we have many things closely or which are really close to what we have been doing in selenium for example if we say you know uh, get get by text right uh, in selenium we have get by text or get by partial link text right then get by label so these are some of the um you know which you can basically correlate not exactly but then in playwright they have specifically given the methods to identify web elements by role by text by label by placeholder or by alternate text which is usually for the uh, images wherein you have the alternative uh, text available you can get by page title or get by test id okay so this is the last one is to locate an element based on its data test id attribute which is mostly you know like configured in the application but if it is not available mostly in the real application we'll be using rest of it it okay and then we have the xpath and css as well support okay so we'll say xpath if you'll see that we can also locate by xpath and css within the playwright right so you can say you know if you are absolutely if you absolutely must use CSS or XPath, you can use page.locator. Okay, so this method will help you to specify either CSS locator or XPath, right? So mostly everything out there, most of it is available out of the box, the locator strategies and the methods, okay? But then in case you are not able to get any of the uh, locators using these recommendations that they have provided, we can go ahead and use the locator method and identify by CSS and XPath. And this is a very, you know, major advantage over Cypress uh, for Playwright that in Cypress, you can only identify using CSS selector, right? But then Playwright has given out of the box methods as well. Okay. And then you don't have to rely on the XPath plugin to identify any of the web element. All right. So this is a brief introduction about the locator 
locators and what exactly are the methods available. From the next video, I'll start covering each of these locator methods and how you are going to use them in order to identify elements and do it practically using or writing the test against each of these locator strategies that are shown here. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.